champion. He is a strike force veteran. Please welcome Matt the Attack. He has a record of 10 wins, only 4 losses. He is a UFC veteran and XFL heavyweight champion. He is Mike the Juggernaut Wesso! So heavyweights in the cage, two big fighters who promise to bang. I'm looking forward to it. I, both of them told me they're going to move forward and be aggressive. Let's hope they live up to that promise. Over 513 pounds of, uh, <laughs> of muscle, of muscle and in this cage. Everything else. That's Matt Kovacs in the black and yellow. We're going to take one quick look at the tail of the tape. Obviously, things looking pretty close there. And height and reach, just a slight weight advantage for Wessel. We'll see how it all plays out. And Wessel's XFL World Championship is against one of my guys. So I'll be rooting for Wessel. Matt Kovacs, yellow and black, promises to attack. Mike Wessel in the black. Don't Two believe it. Two big guys with a lot of power nice in jab. any second. By Kovacs. Kovacs comes from a boxing background. Nice kick. Striking is his forte. That's what he likes to do. Mike Wessel might be best served a little bit take This is on a low kick. I'm very off balance on that. Guys moving pretty well for heavyweights. Now, we don't know if they can keep that pace up for 15 minutes. It's tough when you're a big boy like that. But, but at least the fluidity and the right. movement looks Athletically, decent. Athletically, they're showing up there. Kovacs again, the yellow and black trunks. Mike Wessel in the black. Mike Wessel nice on the body shot. Explosion right there. Man, that was a heck of a body shot by Wessel. Big lefts, big rights, and then he dug to the body. Another thing you don't see enough in mixed martial arts. That's right, and Mike Wessel now moving inside as well, looking to work the fight in the clinch against the cage, perhaps looking to take the fight to the ground. Again, Matt Kovac said, look, I'm a boxer. I'm a former tough man champion. Uh, I like to strike first. Mike Wessel, again, might be best served to get the fight to the floor, and he does immediately. Not the most technical single leg, but it worked, and it worked perfectly because he's on top. Heavy hips, those hips in, we were talking about earlier, and Wessel starts to deliver that ground and pound. Mike Wessel on top. He's in the half guard of his opponent, Matt Kovacs. Going to be tough. Normally, you'd like to step over in the mount here if you're the top fighter, but with the cage right there, that's going to be very, very difficult to do. Absolutely. And then, you know, Kovacs coming from a tough man style, you know, so to speak, you wonder if he does have any ground game. If he has, if he has any, it might not be the most technical. If he has any, so far he hasn't been digging an underhook. He hasn't been pushing off on that, uh, on that inner thigh. Kovacs and looking to control the wrist a little bit, at least slow things down, perhaps underneath. Uh, you know, if he doesn't have a sweep opportunity, try a nice little left elbow. That was that was uh, sharp. I like that. Willing to strike from the bottom as he tries to sit up. He needs to get his hips out. Not really. Wessel doing a good job of covering the hips, though. So Wessel doing what it takes there. Wessel again staying on top, riding very heavy, keeping the hips to the floor. Big right hand to the body. Wessel again covers the hips every time as they move. He stays on top. He's, he's doing right, right behind things. the ear. Wessel halfway mark in the opening Kovacs. round. Mike Wessel clearly in control right now. Matt Kovac struggling a little bit to get back to his feet. So I was going to say earlier, you know, if he, if he knows that he doesn't really have any good sweeps and he escapes, at least tie up the wrist, stall. It's not the most exciting thing, but it gets the job done. And you can always put your back to the fence and start pushing yes. up. Yes. And as we say, right there he goes. Have you heard you? Yeah. Smart. He's got wrist control there. Kovacs has the wrist control, let it go. Okay, Kovacs has worked up to a knee. Kovacs is going to look to not come forward there towards us, but get there his back nice. to the fence. Right. Oh, great work from Mike Wessel. Wessel. Can he push through? Nice great work job. from Mike Wessel. It looked like Kovacs was back to his feet. Wessel just drove through, brought the fight to the floor, and now in the center of the cage as right. well. A lot more difficult for Kovacs to get back to his feet. Kovacs did what he needed to do to get back up, but Wessel did what he did knew to put him uh, needed to do to put him back down in the center of the cage. Now he has a Kovacs 
Kovacs has less options to get back to his feet. Jason, what are you seeing from, from Kovacs underneath? Is it just that he doesn't have the skills to get back, or is it just because Wessel's riding so heavy on top? Well, I mean, I think he, I, I wouldn't say he doesn't have the skills. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, as far as, look, he's they doing do, pretty yeah, good there. Yeah, they fell back I mean, to back. Yeah. I thought Wessel was going to take the back, but Kovacs like, felt it. And now he's back on his back. You know, that was a great opportunity. I really thought Wessel was going to take the back. Kovacs I mean, did show a little bit of a scrambling ability. Got yeah, to his feet. Kovacs, but Wessel puts him immediately back on the floor. I mean, definitely he's not a fish out of water on the ground. You right. know what I mean? I mean and he there's does no have doubting Kovacs is not an excellent athlete. Absolutely. And that makes a, a lot of difference. Did you see those leg kicks in the size? beginning? Right. I mean, those leg kicks in the beginning. I mean, he was moving great. 95% of the people uh, on the planet Earth walking around this size are not that athletic. No. So that's an inherent advantage right away. I walk around this size. I'm not that athletic. No. You know, yeah. but you'll get there if you Look, work with Wessel in his strength and conditioning thing. program. Kovacs does work up to a knee again. He, you know, right at thing. least he's not wilting underneath. Goes. I mean, there he's he trying to show some more. Not job at all. He's that was a fighter. great job. He's a fighter. Right He's in front of our broadcast underhook. position here. Kovacs defending up against the fence. But again, that, that single, single leg, leg just wrapping it up dominant. and bringing it to us. Mike Wessel again just pounding away from top position. Controlling the final 10 seconds. He hasn't even begun to stop that single leg. I mean, oh, right here come the big knees to the ribs. You're right. That single leg is, 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 a, is a great weapon for Mike Wessel thus far. And that's the end of the opening round. Clear cut again. Uh, that's got to be a Mike Wessel round. Enough for a 10-8? I, I, don't, I don't think so. No, Just no. a 10-9. Let's take a look at some of the action from the opening round. A round that Mike Wessel looked very sharp in. Whether, you know, kind of the early stand-up for Matt Kovacs. Here it is. You can see those early leg kicks from Kovacs were effective, but it was Wessel who dug to the body, as you said, but with great flurries, and then was able to rely on single leg takedowns over and over exactly. to just pull his opponent's feet out from underneath them. Set up in top position where Mike Wessel t spent most round. I thought he was going to take the back, but again, Kovacs showed his athleticism, scrambled, was able to Talk escape. You talk about a great show. Show fights is incredible. I mean, it, you know how hard it is to find two heavyweights to, to, to put on performance like this and, and to really match them together? This that will compete back and forth. Absolutely. Very rare. That's an excellent point. All right, here Kovacs we go. Had Second round, moments. Mike Wessel obviously took the opening round 10-9 in our eyes. Kovacs showed flashes of, of brilliance, but when he was uh, trying to defend the single leg takedown, those were not his best moments. He no. wants to keep this fight on the feet, look to unleash that boxing that he's so proud of. That's Kovacs again in the black and yellow on the outside. Mike Wessel on the center of the cage in the black trunks. I'd like to see Kovacs get those leg kicks going. You know, I agree with you because they were sharp, but as, as much as I see how much he was struggling to get off his back. Yeah, it's a risk. You know, you're always risking to get him taken down. That was a nice lead left hook there. Yeah, that's what I want to see more of that boxing. He is okay. throwing with yeah. authority. He has the power and the crisp. There it goes. Look good left. That was nice. Now, but again, Beautiful. Wessel does a good job of tying up, getting underhooks. He's going to try to drop down to that single, or he pulls the leg out, he hooks the leg. Immediately, Kovacs those falls darn, right those, to the ground. Those darn wrestlers, man. Right. What <laughs> is with those guys? Dang it, man. They are amazing. <laughs> so Mike Wessel setting up again in top position. Now, we've got a break here. Mm. Referee Mike English. Not right. Put the mouthpiece back. Oh, okay. the mouthpiece okay. came okay. out. Okay, I didn't catch that. I was going to say a little job, unorthodox Jason. there, but an excellent <laughs> job. That was a quick stand-up. <laughs> Yeah. Mike Wessel on top. We're again, we're he, up against he, the cage. He's bragging about wrestlers, and no, they're coming breaking from it up. A, coming from a tough man uh, background, he's not panicking on the ground. He's not no, panicking on I mean, his back. He, you he know has what I mean? had years he's of professional fighting sure. since the tough man, but again, sure. it isn't his forte. Clearly, the grappling in. Wessel now in side control, a more he's dominant position. Looked he's like he was going to try to grab that right arm and, and maybe move to a crucifix. There he was doing Good That scramble. was a beautiful. That was beautiful to uh, move to get back to his feet. Nice knee inside from Kovacs, but he wants to get Mike Wessel Did off of him in a way. you see how explosive that was? I mean, these guys. Very athletic for heavyweights. <laughs> and again, you know, it hasn't been the highest pace fight, but a good pace for heavyweights. They're staying no, busy, yeah. but Wessel, again, that single leg takedown is just controlling this fight over and it's over. It's dominant. And over. It's dominant. I mean, it, it, Kovacs does not have an answer for that single leg, and he goes down, and he goes down quick. But Wessel doing what he needs to do, fighting the fight style that he said he would. Yep, Mike Wessel on top again. He's again advanced out to side control. You see Kovacs got his feet on the cage, trying to push off, use that Look for the leverage. Look at the crucifix. 
And Koufax, Koufax forced rolls to, to his give knees. him his, his back there because he was in some trouble when he was laying on his back. He had to go belly down and try to stand up. See Wessel trying to move to the back. The Can't do it, but takes side control yet again. Mike Wessel on top, inside control, controlling this fight as he has throughout. Wessel's trying to uh, use his feet to, to explode out, to get back to his feet, right there. Wow. Again, nice athleticism. That's Absolutely. a good move for a heavyweight, but unfortunately it doesn't do much for him. Mike Wessel still stays on top of him and can, can be, excuse me, keeps the dominant position. Hammer fist there, we can see uh, right. the wow. reddening behind the ear. A little bit of cuts there. Mike Wessel, just a grinding blue-collar type work here. Another big takedown. Kovacs has got to be getting frustrated, spending all this time on his back. In the moments that he's been on his feet, he's been effective. He shows crisp boxing skills, but Mike Wessel right now just pounding away from the top position. Kovacs maintaining that half guard underneath, keeping his opponent from advancing into side control again. Another roll from Kovacs. And Jameson, you got to be impressed again. Kovacs getting to his feet now. I have no doubt that he's going to be taken down again. There, there was not a doubt in my mind that the single leg was coming. He was going to his back. So definitely needs to shore up that takedown yeah. defense. But, I, but, you know, Kovacs could very easily just kind of turtle up there and quit, that's right? What I, that's what I was just going to say. I see so many heavyweights out there that just, they do quit. And they get so discouraged, keep getting taken down. Look, he's hanging in there. And he's continuing to fight. And that, that deserves respect. It's admirable, especially coming in on late notice. But that said, he's got to work on Absolutely. this takedown defense. The single leg. And he will. What, what can he do? Is it just a, I mean, why is he unable to defend that single leg takedown? As now, Mike Wessel is in the crucifix position. Yes, he just needs more mat time on the ground and uh, working with more wrestlers, man. And just drill, 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 drill. That's it. Drill, drill. And uh, he'll improve. Um, obviously, he's got the stand up. He's got the explosiveness, he's got the leg kick, I mean, he's get, you know, he, he just needs to work on his wrestling. Final 30 seconds of the second round here between Mike Wessel and Matt Kovacs, the heavyweights. It has been Mike Wessel in control. Nice oh, knee. now nice that could knee. buckle Kovacs. A couple of big knees. Now here comes some big right hands. Referee Mike English is looking close. This could be a finish, and that's going to be the fight. I, I'm okay with that. You know, not, not that those are necessarily knockout type blows. But Mike Wessel was just swarming. He had been on top of Matt Kovacs for the better part of 10 minutes. And you could see the celebration from Mike Wessel, an sure. emotional victory for the Ultimate Fighter 10 sure. veteran. All credit again to Kovacs. You see him, he's, he's into pain over there uh, in the corner, obviously talking to the referee in the loss. But he continued to, to, to fight throughout. Let's take a look at the action from that second decisive round. And, and again, a fight that was just controlled from Mike Wessel from start to finish. Let's take a look at some of his handiwork here. Again, this was the part of the fight where Kovacs was most effective. He, he had the nice left hook there. He was got on the feet, but Mike Wesson was able to get the fight to the floor over and over with takedowns just like that. Kovacs sure. would scramble up. He would look for opportunities to recover. And here was the end of the, the knee to the ribs. You could see that really buckled him. And then a couple of big right hands. And these last final blows weren't the most heaviest of shots. But the at that point, it was absolutely the accumulation. Great performance by Mike Wessel. A hard-earned victory. Uh, a man that's trying to claw his way back to the top. And he says he'll be in the big show again. Let's take it up to our ring announcer, Dallin Gettling, to get the official time of the win. Four minutes and 50 seconds into the second round, we do have our winner due to a TKO. Your winner, Mike, the Juggernaut, Wessel! Mike's got places to go, he says. Man, that was a dominating performance. I don't know what you're doing with your strength and conditioning, but you look great. You look like you could go a couple more rounds. You're actually, you put on some weight, it looks like you're bigger, stronger, but you're still faster. How does that work? Well, I am a strength and conditioning coach. I was the University of Arkansas strength coach. And, uh, you know, just, I have a little bit more option. I know how to train myself. You know, I've got great people. Aaron Kimball, Max Bishop, thank you. Thank you guys, all my family. Thank you, my baby mama drama, my father, all you guys. Thank you for coming out. Um, you know, thank you, sponsors. It's just, 
you know, he took it on short notice. Matt's a big, strong dude, you know. He came in to 20 pounds heavier than what I thought he was going to, you know, and uh, I was nervous that first punch because he's got a lot of overhand rights, but I think I executed perfectly myself, but you guys can criticize me on the forum, so I What do you guys think? You think you did a pretty good job? All right, Michael, we hope to see you again. Keep it up, man. Great work.